Hi guys, welcome, 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 welcome. A great big welcome to you to Elevation TV Network, the gifted, the one and only gifted. How are you guys doing tonight? God bless you guys. I am so happy to be here with you guys. I am your host, Shani Salmon Godfrey. Welcome to the gifted, the greatest network ever. <laughs> Because we are, we what we are after is just to help people elevate, to help them grow with no other than through the power of Jesus Christ. We know that he is God all by himself. So we just come to help the people of God grow and elevate. And every week we come on and we have the men and women of God just come on and just to share a piece of their testimony and just to encourage us to keep on pushing. And we have a phenomenal, and I do mean phenomenal woman of God that's going to be coming on tonight. Yes, so I'm going to bring her on, we're going to pray, and we're going to get started, because you guys know I love to respect time, because that's the only thing we can't buy, right? So let me bring her on. How are you guys doing tonight? Oh, there she go. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I am wonderful. How are you doing this evening? I'm good. I am so excited to have you on. Thank you. I'm excited. Thank you so much. This is such an honor. I truly appreciate it. I get so it. excited to be on with the gift. I'm like, I'm going to be a real fan girl now. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> funny. Thank you. So, guys, we are going to pray, and I'm going to dive on in because I've been waiting because you've been doing so much, and I'm just so excited to talk to you. So I'm going to pray, and we're just going to dive straight on in. Okay. <laughs> All right, let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before your presence tonight, O oh God. Lord, not by our might, not by our strength, Lord God, but for your glory, for your purpose, Lord God, we come, we give you this platform, we give you this broadcast, we give you all the tools, Lord God, that you have gifted us with. And as we do this, this broadcast, we ask you to show up to let your presence show up and manifest on this broadcast so life be changed lord god we give you all the honor the praise and glory now and forevermore in jesus name amen amen, amen. yay <laughs> <laughs> all right so introduce yourself to us you know my name is tishan philip i'm just I'm just in awe. I'm just so excited um, to be in your presence, to um, have this invitation and just to be here. So thank you so much for thinking of me. Um, I am the founder of the I Am Hope Foundation, um, which is so near and dear to my heart. Uh, I get so excited when I think about what God has been doing with the foundation and what he continues to do. Um, in the lives of so many people around the world. So um, it's just such a blessing and honor to be able to be here and to share with everyone what he continues to do for us. Amen. So tell me about your foundation, because I see the work and I was like, man, I can't wait to hear more. <laughs> so tell us, because I know you're global. It's a global foundation. So yes. tell me about it. Yeah. <laughs> You know what, honestly, I get, I'm so passionate about I Am Hope. I'm so passionate um, about it. And it's all God. So I just have to give him all of the honor and all of the glory. Um, we have been in existence for only one year now. One year. Oh, wow. Uh, we have been making such a significant impact around the world. Um, the, the primary purpose of the foundation is to restore hope in every nation. Um, we focus on um, mission trips. We focus on empowerment seminars. And we also have a food and nutrition program under the I Am Hope Foundation. So um, we're all about restoring hope everywhere that we go, both internally and externally, just trying to um, empower others and to be uh, a source so that you know we can help them to grow and to better to better themselves in all areas of their lives. So I'm just I'm passionate about the foundation and what God continues to do. And in nutritional program, you go into the schools, right? Because I know that I saw the mission trip, and you guys go into the schools in Africa and just feed the children. Yes, yes, it is so important for, for me. I know what it's like to go to sleep hungry. And it's been my ultimate goal and purpose to ensure that no child ever have to go to sleep 
hungry. If there's something that I can do about that and just know that it's definitely on my list to ensure that it gets done. So whenever we travel, wherever we travel to, um, we try to prepare a, a meal, a hot meal for the children there. Um, because oftentimes when the kids are in school, they're, um, that's the only meal that they're able to receive. Because a lot of the, okay, oftentimes, yeah. a lot of the areas that we visit are in the slums. But then of late, it's been... Um, a huge problem, whereas the schools are no longer in a position to feed the children. So um, my foundation adopted a primary school in Kenya, and um, we implemented a food and nutrition program there where it costs 95 US dollars to feed one child two meals per day, five days per week for the entire year. So that's when you think of $95, that's not a lot in US dollars, but that can make a right. huge difference. That can actually save a child's life in Kenya. So I'm just passionate about that particular project and just trying to um, expand it, not just in Kenya, but all of the other regions, surrounding regions where we can make an impact. You know, and I'm just taking notes because this is amazing. Sometimes we look at it and we say we want to help, but it seems so huge, <laughs> you know, and you just broke it down like, wow, $95 can really save a child life. So how do, how do someone partner up with your organization, donate? How do, how can they be a part of that? And, you know, we, we welcome partnership with I Am Hope. What I love about I Am Hope is that we're not just one person. I Am Hope consists of all of us because we're all in a unique position to make a significant impact. So we're always looking for partnership. They can um, obtain information from the I Am Hope Foundation website, which is IamHopeFoundation.org. That's IamHopeFoundation.org. Or you can, you can send some donations via PayPal. I Am Hope Foundation. Dot org. Got it. And if they want to just give directly to the foundation, sowing a seed via PayPal, you can do so um, at paypal.me forward slash I am hope foundation. Paypal.me forward slash I am hope foundation. Got it. Awesome. And any, because I know I saw that you guys were um, shipping stuff there too for the girls. How do they do that? Is that something that they can um, buy, send it to you? How can they be a part of that? Well, we are, and I'm so happy that you mentioned that because, you know, as, as a, a woman, we're all faced with the, I don't want to call it a challenge because it's natural that um, right. we, we have our menstrual every month. But the young ladies right. in Africa, um, they're in a very unique position because they don't have the resources that we have. So, of course, um, when we have our menstrual, it's like, okay, we have our menstrual. We just go and get the adequate supplies and take care of our right. hygiene, you know? But right. these young ladies, they have to miss school. They're not getting an education throughout that time frame that they're on their menstrual. So we want to make sure that these young ladies are comfortable. And something that is so natural does not prohibit them from getting their education. So um, we are actually collecting sanitary napkins for the young ladies in Ghana. I have a team that's going to Ghana in September. So my team of 11, they're going to actually take the sanitary napkins, school supplies, and shoes to the kids over in Ghana. So I have 11 people traveling to Ghana. So we're going to have 22 bags of suitcases filled with resources for the children of Ghana. So I'm so excited about that. If they want to partner with us by um, donating sanitary napkins, they can send sow a seed, send the funds to paypal.me forward slash I am hope foundation, or they can mail it directly to me. Um, and I can post the PO box information in the comments so that they can actually see yeah. <laughs> the address so that they can um, mail the sanitary napkins directly. And it's so, such a blessing because all week I've been receiving packages of sanitary napkins and it just, it, it, it warms my heart to see that 
this is not a me thing. You know, this is a right. we thing. This is a God thing. And we're helping people all around the world. And I feel like that's what we were placed here to do. Right. Wow, that's amazing. And every time I see the pictures, I'm like, wow. <laughs> I see the little kids and they're eating and the girls and I'm like, wow, this is amazing. So the thing that you only been do, you've been um the foundation is one year. That's amazing because you did a lot in that year. Yes, we did. Um, we were actually we started off before the foundation was incorporated, we started off doing um empowerment seminars. So I am from the Virgin Islands. So every year I would return to the Virgin Islands and we would host a youth and women empowerment seminar. So we've been doing that for about three years consecutively. And then last year we did, we did quite a few things last year. We, um, we did our empowerment seminars in the Virgin Islands. We hosted an empowerment seminar here in Fort Lauderdale. We did Kenya. We did a mission trip to Kenya twice, once in March of 2017 and then another mission trip in December 2017 to Kenya. Then I also had a team going over to Ghana in September of, two, December, September of 2017 as well. So last year was extremely busy. And trust me, this year is off to a great start as well. Wow, that's amazing. That is amazing, guys. So she's doing a lot, and it's not easy <laughs> doing not what at she's all. doing. We do need help. So I will be posting all the information on the website, Thank on the you. page, and just across our platform because we really – we, this is really amazing and guys she her foundation <laughs> have been nominated for a humanitarian award yes you know i am so <laughs> this i am so honored surprised and humbled by this you know um definitely wasn't expected because everything that we do is it's from the heart it's because it's needed um it came from nowhere i was so surprised by it but um I'm honored and I'm excited to be able to travel to Nigeria. I've been to different areas in Africa, but never Nigeria. So I'm excited about um, having the opportunity to travel to um, Nigeria in August. So Yay, it's going to be amazing, guys. She is going to Nigeria in August, and we are going to see the beautiful pictures and the videos. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to show her some love. <laughs> I appreciate it. And you know what? The, the outpour of love and support um, has been incredible because to be honest, we cannot what, do what we do with the I Am Hope Foundation without the continuous support from right. our followers, from everyone else who, who believe in the vision. You know, so I just, so when I accept this award, I'm accepting this award on behalf of all of us, from everyone who has sowed a seed and, you know, shared and believed in the vision of I and Hope. Wow, that's amazing, guys. So not only is she building a ministry, a nonprofit, she's doing a lot. You also are a writer. I you do a am. lot of writing your Yes, tell us tell us about that and where to find your book. Yeah, I did my research. <laughs> She's like, How did you, you surely that? did. You did. You know what? It's um sometimes I forget that that I've done that, you know, because um mm -hmm. nothing that I have done was a part of my vision. So it was all God. It just came out of, I don't want to just say it came out of nowhere because it was always a part of his purpose and his plan for my life. It was just never a part of my plan. You know, leave it to me. <laughs> um, when I left the Virgin Islands to go to school, my goal was to be commissioner of tourism for the Virgin Islands. So leave it to me, wow. my life, I would have been commissioner of tourism in the Virgin Islands, which, which is a great opportunity. But um, God had a different plan, different path, a purpose for my life. So I have written four books. I have um, four books. I first one, the first, my first two books are workbooks. The first one is called Elevate. The second one is Elevate Part Two. So I wrote nice. Elevate initially um, for my young ladies. I was mentoring these young ladies at a foster home. And um, every week I would visit these young ladies and I decided, you know what, let me just write something, put something together, have, give them tangible documents, something that they can work on while I'm not there. And I realized that the worksheets were 
they were starting to produce results. The young ladies oh, wow. started having um, hope. They started believing in themselves. They got excited about their next assignments. So I was like, okay, this is actually something, you know, if it's helping the young ladies at the foster home, you know, God knows who else it can actually help. So my first book, um, Elevate, was more so for uh, a younger audience who are trying to find themselves. So when I realized that, okay, Elevate, we have something here. Um, Elevate is helping people all around the world, especially teenage girls. I decided okay. to write Elevate Part 2. Now, Elevate okay. Part 2 is more so for um, a more mature audience. I wanted to make sure that if we're taking care of the young ladies internally, we have to make sure that their mommies are okay mentally, right. you know, because yeah. oftentimes mommies need some help. You know, <laughs> I have to be honest, I'm a mommy, I'm a mommy and I had to go through my process. And the last thing that we would want is mommy to not go through her process and then take out her anger and frustration on her kids who've already gone through their process. So Elevate 2, I love Elevate 2. I actually went through my own healing process with Elevate 2. Um, oh, wow. Elevate 2 spoke about life after a broken heart. Sometimes people feel like, well, you know, this relationship ended, that's it, life is over. Right. So you have to right. go through the process. You have to go through the various steps. So that's how Elevate 2 came about. Then after Elevate 2, I, I, thought, I thought, okay, well, I'm done. I helped the teenagers and then I helped the mommies. <laughs> so then I'm finished. And then God said, no, I'm not, I'm not finished with you. I'm not finished with you at all. And then not easily broken was produced. I love that book. I love not easily broken. Not easily broken consists of various short stories and each, oh, wow. each short story consists of a name, has a name of a person, a fictional name, fictional name. And um, the reason I, uh, I associated a name with a story was because I wanted it to be relatable. So when people right. read the book, they would say, oh my gosh, Tashaun, I'm Bianca. Or, oh my right. goodness, I'm Amber. You know, so it's, it's, it's amazing to see that's how so many people can relate to the stories in the book. And then my last book, um, was um, The Heart of a Good Woman. And that book definitely showed my growth as far as, because when I wrote Not Easily Broken, I was still getting over my healing process. And Not I... Easily Broken was a reminder to women that we all have a process. You have to embrace your process. And regardless of what you go through, you're not gonna break. You're not going to break. So just embrace that process. Like God got you. So um, when he told me to write the heart of a good woman, it was that that book was more so a celebration to show God's love for us as his daughters. So I, I that that book was just so encouraging for me. Every book was brought something new to the table. So I've been focusing on my books. You can actually get my books on my website. Um, and I will include it. I will include it as well. My website is tishanphillip.com. Very simple, www.tishanphillip.com. Um, I'm the distributor. I'm the supplier. I'm the marketer. I handle all of my business. <laughs> I'm telling you. So they're on my website. I handle, I handle a lot of that. <laughs> Nice. Um, the founder, the CEO, and the employee. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> to God be the glory. I'm telling you, sometimes I'm like, okay, I don't know. When you're in the middle of doing it, you don't realize exactly what you're doing because it's your day to day. So whenever I have these interviews and, you know, people are talking about the things that I'm doing, I'm like, wow. Did I do that? How did I find the strength to do that? <laughs> but do um, it. it's God. I'm telling you, it's, it's God. And I just love him and I honor him. And I have to just share 
with the world what he's doing because people see me on social media and they're like, oh, wow, Tishan is doing this. Tishan is doing that. No, Tishan is just a vessel. I'm being used by God right. because leave it to Tishan, just me, it will not be that great. To see that I am a, a, a woman from the Caribbean not, um, and who right. have people following her all the way around the world. I'm not asking people right. to go to Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and I got to laugh because when I got an invite to go to Ghana, I was like, that's a whole nother part of the world. And they're like, yeah. I'm like, no, you don't understand what you're asking me to do. <laughs> that's a whole nother part. Listen, it's the grace. God has given me favor because whenever I reach out to the team, the first thing they say is, where are we going? Where are we going? And I, you know what? I'm just so humble that he appointed these people, you know, to, to just trust and to be able to follow me. Oftentimes when I say we're going, I have no idea how we're going to get there. I have no idea what we're walking into. I have no idea how I'm going to put it together, but I trust right. the God that I serve. And if he t tells me to go, then I know that everything is going to fall into place because it's his will and he cannot fail. And I trust him completely. Wow. So speak to the women, the men, just the believers that's working. They have this vision, right? And they want to just take that step. Because you just said something. You said, I don't really have it all together when we have to go. <laughs> but, you know, it kind of just yes. works. Tell us about the emotions that go behind that. Because it's every time God tells us to do something, I mean, if it don't scare you, then you might want to confirm that it's God. Because it's, it can be a little scary. He likes us yes. to go here. We're like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, honestly, it can be. It can be scary. The first thing I would say to the believers is when you have a vision, make sure it's a godly vision. Because if God didn't give it to you, it's not going to come together. No matter how much you try to fit the pieces together, it's not going to come together. So that's number one. Then number two, I would say, make sure you have a prayer life. And make sure you have others who are praying for you. Because you know what, to be honest with you, sometimes I'm so tired that I don't know how to pray because I'm so drained and I'm so tired and I feel defeated with the assignment. And all I can just do is say Jesus. But then I know who to call on to say, hey, my sister, I need you to lift me up. You know, wow. hey, you know sometimes you need those key people to encourage you because the enemy is going to try to distract you and make you feel like you're not worthy. You can't do this. You know, who are you? Who are you? You know, you can't do this. Right. But, but I'm telling you, it's hard. It is hard, but you have to hang in there because if God told you to do it, he already worked it out. And that's something that I'm, that I'm still getting used to. I'm still getting used to because I'm the CEO. Yes. The team relies on me to put everything together, but right. I, I know that I'm not the driving force behind what I'm doing. So sometimes I do stress and I said, oh my goodness, where's this money going to come from? This is due. Where's this going to come from? So yes, <laughs> right. I, I, yes, I it's have real. To, it is real. It's real. But then <laughs> I have to get back to that place and it's hard to sometimes get back to that place. That's why you have to continuously stay prayed up and stay covered stay covered. I have to get back to that place and say, okay, um, you don't know where the money is going to come from. You know, right. you did not lead yourself to this assignment. It's not for you to figure it out. It's not for you to figure it out. And you know, for me, because I'm constantly going, going like right now, I'm working on three mission trips and two, two conferences oh, wow. in the next two weeks because and I, I have a full-time job. Um, and I'm a single mother and I'm working on my doctorate. So my mind is always working. Everywhere, going, yeah. right. So for me, sometimes I have to take a step back and go to my quiet place just so that I can hear God. And sometimes right. you need that break because when you are going, 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 
you 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 get out of his wills you know sometimes you get out and then you're not you're not covered and you can't hear him so i tend to go to the beach i go to the beach and i just sit and i you know and i listen to music i go in my closet and i just listen and and i speak to him like god where is this going to come from this is what right. i have on my plate where can and he speaks to me but sometimes we have to slow down and just hear him because it's the noise around us that distracts us and then things don't fall into place because we're not listening. Right. That's true. And you said something because a lot of time the assignment do burn us out. It really do. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> I, I'll sit down like God. I really want to quit this assignment. I'm done. It does. <laughs> because you still have a life that you have to live and then the assignment and then everything else that the assignment requires. So right. you did say something when you say step back and head into that quiet place. And that's absolutely necessary. It is. It is. And you know what I've realized too? Everything that I have done in my life has prepared me for this assignment. And I didn't realize that that's what God was doing or that's what was happening. Um, like I can plan a mission trip, an entire mission trip in another country in one week, plan and oh, put wow. everything together. And it's because I have a background in travel and tourism. I told you my goal was to be commissioner of tourism for the Virgin Islands. So when I went to school, I, um, I earned my associate's degree in travel and tourism. So God already knew, God set it up. I'm able to travel and have compassion for these kids and feed the children because I know what it's like to go to sleep hungry. I grew up in poverty, you know, so I have that compassion. Um, I know how to lead. I know how to lead and I'm very humbled by it because I genuinely have the love of people. So God sends me the right people to help me. So that's why I know that my assignment is a God assignment and not a Tashan assignment. Because if it was a assignment that came from me, everything will not align the way that it did. Wow. Wow. So I'm just, I'm grateful. But you're right. It does get um, tiring. It does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes you see that I put myself on, oh, I'm going on a Facebook vacation, or sometimes I just have to shut down altogether. I go on a little hiatus, and then I come back, and then a team is like, where are we going next? So it's like, it's always ongoing. Right. That's amazing. And you said something that, guys, I want you to pay attention. She said prayer life. It is absolutely necessary yes. to have a prayer life when you are walking in destiny, walking in your purpose, walking in your calling. And I always say that everybody's gifted. God gifted all of us and truly is expecting a return on his investment. But while you're walking it out and you are utilizing those gifts, you have to pray. I agree. You definitely you have to pray. The struggle yes. be real. Yes. And, and you know what? And the warfare. There's a warfare yeah, wow. that comes with it. You know, people see the, oh, wow, she's going to this place. Oh, wow, she's doing this. She's taking pretty pictures, but you have no idea what I have to endure, you know, right. to receive those gifts and those benefits, you know? So you have to stay prayed up. Like my pastor, and I love my pastor so much because um, one of her requirements is before I speak anywhere, before I travel, I need to let her know. Not that I need to ask for permission. I just need to let her know so she can keep me covered. And I truly, truly appreciate that because you have to stay covered. It's a must. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. And you said something right there all by itself because <clears throat> there are those pastors that will cover. And there are those pastors that won't cover. You know, so, <laughs> I mean, you got a blanket and you got a jacket, okay? <laughs> Just oh, say that I'm in the right so place. <laughs> Just say that um, I'm in the right place. Thank I'm where Lord. God needs me to be. <laughs> right. Guys, make sure that you are in that right place. Make sure that you have that covered because you did say something. Having a spiritual covering is very important, especially when you're going into the nations because you don't know what you're going to walk into. 
Right. That's a whole nother. The warfare behind it physically, spiritually. I mean, when you walking in calling, doing God's assignment, the war is coming whether you want it to come or not. Yes. So make sure you're in that right place. It's amazing. She said, my pastor keeps me covered. And if your pastor don't keep you covered, pray and ask God for a place that your pastor will keep you covered. And if you don't have a pastor that covers you and you live in South Florida, I invite you to attend Kingdom Builders Worship Center in Pompano. In Pompano. Kingdom, <laughs> you gonna post the address? Yes, post the address. <laughs> Come and fellowship with me. Come and fellowship with me tomorrow, 1230. <laughs> the address okay <laughs> can't come if we don't have the address <laughs> <laughs> i will definitely do that <laughs> you guys you're trying to get me in trouble <laughs> uh, guys <laughs> hey it's me my fault not hers okay <laughs> well you know, we, don't, we don't you know why it doesn't matter where they worship as long as they're in a church home and you know they're they're being covered that's that's important right. that's that's essential when you're walking in your calling right absolutely important guys it's very important it's very very important and i brought that up though guys you already know i'm just gonna say it but <laughs> i say that because it's a lot of times that you do have a lot of people doing some amazing work and they're part they're kind of on an island by themselves so that's why i brought it up that it's very important for you guys to find coverage find a, a support system a prayer warrior that's gonna pray for you and pray through for and pr just pray you through because you said something too you said that there's times when you don't feel you're not in that place because you're going through it and you know exactly who to call. And that's very important because I can absolutely relate to that. There's times when physically, especially when you're going through fasting and praying and mm -hmm. everything else, I'll be sitting there like, Jesus, <laughs> just sitting like Jesus. Like, I yes. just can't get up right now. Just leave me here for a minute, Lord. Yes. So it's very important. It is important. And you know what? What I've realized is people are always watching. People are always watching. And those same people are watching because they're waiting to see you fall. Like, let me see how much of a Christian she really is. So people are always watching. So um, no matter what I do, I must always reflect the God in me when I feel like praying or when I don't feel like praying or, you know, and sometimes you just have to press through you just have to press through and you ha you have to know who to call when you are in your weak moments you can't call somebody from last season to expect to help uplift you in this season because that's not going to work they're going to be like right. what happened to the god that you said that you served who you left me for it back in that season you that know, season so, wow so i'm telling you you have to know because you're gonna be tested you are going to be tested. I'm telling you when you are walking in your calling, when you're walking in your purpose. And the best right. feeling is knowing that you knew it was a test and you passed and all the praise and all the glory went to the kingdom. So that's the best Amen. feeling ever. Amen. And you said, wow. Guys, that's, um, that's powerful all by itself. You said the people from the last season... You might not want to go back to them to pray you through this season. It's going backwards. It's kind of like you're in high school and you're going back to middle school. You know, you kind of grown a little bit. Yes, <laughs> so yes. it's a new season. Wow, that's powerful. That's amazing. Yes. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, it's serious because oftentimes you will walk alone. You will walk alone. There will be a lonely um transitional period and it's okay it's okay because god wants to align you with the right people right. you know i've had other people along this path with me with the foundation and i realized that they they just weren't going where god is taking the foundation yes they right. they want to serve because everyone wants to travel to africa and to feed the the, the you know the kids and everybody wants right. to do that but are you doing it for you? Or are you truly doing it for God? Do you truly have the heart of a servant? So you will have to, you know, you will, God will elevate you and move you in a different direction. And it's okay. It's okay that um, not everyone comes with you. Not everyone should have um, authorization or have that type of access 
to you where God is leading you and he will align you with the right people. So I'm just, I'm just excited. I'm excited about who he's bringing. I'm excited about where he's taking us. I'm excited about the right. impact that we're going to make because our goal is to touch every continent, you know, every region, every area, right. because um, it's all about the body of Christ. So right. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about what he is doing for us. And you mentioned the conferences. Do you want to share it with us or not yet? You know what? I'm that we have two events <laughs> in St. Thomas. And you know what? I get so witty, like a little girl, whenever I speak about the Virgin <laughs> Islands, because it's home, you know, it's home. And it's something about when the airplane lands in St. Thomas. When I step off that airplane, the air is different. It's lighter. Um, I'm in my happy place. I would always say, listen, if I get lost anywhere, just return me to the Virgin Islands. They'll know what to do with me there. Um, so it's home, and I, I absolutely love it. It's my favorite place on the entire earth. People get excited about Disney World. I get excited about going to the Virgin Islands. So... Um, on May 19th, we're hosting two events. It's going to be a long day, but you know what? It's it's worth it. Um, the Virgin Islands has endured two major Category 5 hurricanes, okay? Hurricanes Maria and Hurricane Irma um, devastated the Virgin Islands. Um, so we are hosting our youth conference and our women empowerment seminars both on the same day. These are free events. We want to be able to empower, uplift, inspire, celebrate the people of the Virgin Islands. We are actually um, collecting items because there's so many people whose homes were um, destroyed and they still don't have the, the resources or the supplies that they need for their everyday living. You know, I know of a mother of seven whose home were, was completely destroyed. They still need beds. They need kitchen utensils. They still need household items. And I want to be able to bless the people of the Virgin Islands with, even if it's just one or two families, um, I want to be able to bless them because they, they persevere. They're still going strong. They're still living, you know, and um, I just want to encourage them and to remind them that there is hope. You might have lost these material things, but there is a God because okay. he did not take your life. So I just want to celebrate and love on them. So I'm just, I'm very excited about returning home and what we're about to do for the people of the Virgin Islands in two weeks. Amen. That's amazing. Guys, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions for the amazing woman of God? She, wow, you blessed us tonight. Thank and you. you convicted me because I'm sitting here like, I'm not doing it up. <laughs> <laughs> I think that all the time. I think that for me too. I would always say, what what else can I do, God? I, I feel like I'm not doing enough. I should be doing more. But um, it's okay. It's okay. At, at least if you feel that way, then you know there's opportunities for you to for you to do better or for you to join join in with one of our projects and do something. Just do right. something. Like when even if you're sowing a seed, just know that your seed is being impacted. It's gonna make an impact around the world, either in the Virgin Islands, either in Africa, or either here in South Florida. About a month ago, there was a family whose um, their house got burnt down. They lost everything. And the foundation was able to bless this entire family with clothes because of donations that were received from people all around the, U the United States. So just know that whatever the donation is, is being put to great use. Right, man, guys, <laughs> you should need help. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. I'm like, oh my good, like I need to be doing more. I think y'all feel convicted too, right? I'm not the only one. <laughs> Listen, even if it's a pair of shoes, so we are collecting shoes. I um, when I look at my closet, it makes me realize that I have to continuously do more. Because we, the kids in Kenya, we're collecting shoes for the kids in Ghana and in Kenya. And a lot, a lot of my children in Kenya have passed away because they did not have closed toe shoes. And the worms from the ground will go up into their feet. 
and it would kill these babies. And it's so unfortunate because kids are supposed to be kids. You know, I remember growing up, I used to be outside playing with my friends. And of course, I can't do that now. I don't have the energy. I'm not that fit. But <laughs> it's, kids are supposed to be kids. Could you imagine your kids going outside playing and then they're dying because the dirt yeah. from the ground goes up into their feet? So when I look at my closet, I'm like, okay, I have to do better. I have to do better because I have so many shoes and then... My kids are dying because they don't have any. Also, education is big for me. I told you that I'm working on my doctorate. So I've been in school for the past 30 something years. I feel like I'm in school wow. forever. Right. And um, my children in Kenya, the dirt there is so infectious. So like the kids are dying because the classrooms are made out of dirt. So we have already paved three of the classrooms so that um, the dirt won't infect them and kill these kids. So we still have three more classrooms that we need to repair so we can all be, you know, cemented rather than it just be in dirt. So we have a lot of work to do. And then we're, we're creating a library for these kids. When we visited them in March and the principal said, these are our friends from America. One of the kids said, Trump, Trump, Trump. We cannot have... <laughs> We cannot have our president being the only affiliation or the only reference that the kids know of America. Uh -huh. So, yeah, so we, you know, we, it's important that they have the proper literature. And, you know, I'm, I'm so passionate about them. Like, I, I love these kids. I love them. I so I can't wait. <laughs> you know, and I can see it. whenever I'm there, I just wish that I can just pack them all up because... They have so little, but they have the biggest hearts. They have the biggest yeah. hearts. And, you know, they have taught me so much about love and humility. And um, that's, what, that's what it's all about. So um, I'm excited um, about what God is doing. And, I, of course, we need help. We need help because there's 270 children in the school, and that's just one school. You know, we're still making an impact in Ghana. And then I'm heading to Nigeria. And of course, I have to visit the kids in the orphanage there in Nigeria. So um, it's, I'm humbled. I'm humbled. Right. I need help. Right. <laughs> right. Yes, Barbara, keep up the amazing work. Barbara said, keep up the amazing work. Yes. I you mean, know what? I'm so humbled. Thank you, Barbara. I'm Barbara is. At the same time, <laughs> to even be here with you tonight. And I'm like, oh, I got to pray. And I'm just thinking, like, <laughs> I need to do more. And it's so amazing. I love the work. Every time I see the page, it's like, wow. You know how we see the Feed the Children commercial that breaks our heart. And when I see you with them, I'm like, wow, that's amazing. It's really amazing, the work that you're doing. So God bless you for even letting him use you, letting him use you in that way. Because that's what you, you are on the whole, on the whole another side of the world. So God bless you for doing that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Keep me covered. You know, and honestly, I can't do what I do without Barbara. I have to recognize Barbara. Barbara does all of the marketing and publications for the I Am Hope Foundation. So I truly love and appreciate her. You know, I can't can't do anything that um, without Barbara. So it's definitely an honor to have her a part of the team. Yes, thank you, Barbara. Your work is amazing. Because <laughs> I'm looking at the other screen. I'm like, thank you, your work is amazing. <laughs> yeah, she truly is. She truly is phenomenal. She also published all four of my books. She did the book covers, everything. She She's phenomenal. She is outstanding. And I, um, I mentioned before that God has a way of working it out because I can put together a mission strip in one week because of my experience. Um, Barbara and I met when I was working at a university. So I was in charge of the catalogs and putting together all of the catalogs and publications for the university. And I worked with Barbara's company, but then the university filed bankruptcy and I got laid off from my job, but Barbara and I still connected. We kept in touch and it was a godly connection because although I no longer work with her in that capacity, we had a partnership when I started writing my books. And then now we have a greater partnership with the I Am Hope Foundation. Wow. That's amazing. That's so it's amazing. It's definitely a godly connection.
Right. It, you mm -hmm. just truly have been a blessing. You have been a blessing, and you kind of checked me too. So God bless you for oh, doing no. that. <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> Really good thing that's the holy spirit of, that's the holy spirit <laughs> i'm telling you because sometimes you know what sometimes you're doing so you, you you're doing and you are in that place of okay god like you know when he said i'll never put more you than you can bear you like okay now this is it take some <laughs> you know, like I, I can't bear no more and then when Jerry's <laughs> pouring into me i'm like yeah baby i can't take a little bit more lord <laughs> You know what? That is so funny that you said that because it happens. It happens. And I'm telling you, God is so amazing because when you get, you get to that point, he makes sure that you have the right people because when I can't take anymore, I'm like, okay, Barbara, I'm shutting down for a couple of days. It's you. Like I'm passing the baton to you. This is what needs to get done. And I trust that it's going to get done when I need to just sit back and take a breather so that I can regroup and go full force with leading the projects. And I just thank God um, for trusting me. It's, it's so right. humbling, you know, like to, to trust me with these assignments. Um, so it's, I'm, I'm forever grateful. And it, for me, it's, um, I always wonder when you just said, well, am I doing enough? I always <laughs> wonder if I'm doing right. enough, like, okay, God, <laughs> Like, do you, do you want me to take on? And that's another thing too. Like God would say, okay, Tashaun, you're going to go to India. Cause he did tell me India and Haiti. And with me, because I'm such a, a daddy's girl. And that's what I, that's what exactly what it is. I'm a daddy's girl. So for me, I always want to please God. So although he said to me, okay, Tashaun, you're going to do Africa. You're going to do Haiti. You're going to do Virgin Islands. You're going to do India. Because I want to please him, I think I have to get it all done all at once. Not knowing right. that, okay, I, I need to spread it out. I definitely need to, mm -hmm. to spread it out. So Haiti was in the plans for 2018, but we're going to push Haiti back to 2019 along with India. Because God mm -hmm. added three locations in Africa for 2018. So we're going to Nigeria, Ghana, and Kenya. Yay! <laughs> I'm excited. I'm I still excited. got. I'm over here, and you said shoes, and I'm like, man, because I love shoes. I, I I love shoes. If I just get all the shoes in the world, it won't be enough. Because I just love shoes. And when you said these kids don't have shoes, I'm like, man, baby, I should buy no more shoes and just <laughs> buy the kids some shoes. Yes. So <laughs> if if you're, if you're feeling convicted, and you know what is so amazing. Yes. There is this store, because you live here in South Florida. You live in Coral Springs. On mm -hmm. Hillsboro, the $5.99 shoe store, when there are shoes that they can no longer sell, hi, sweetie, how are you, woman of God? <laughs> um, when there are shoes that they can no longer sell, if there's a scratch on the shoe or anything that's off, they sell the shoes for $1. They sell those wow. shoes for a dollar. So I go to that nine five ninety nine shoe store, and I ask her, "What what can't you sell anymore?" And then I purchase those shoes. And these are new shoes that the kids can benefit from. When the team visited the orphanage in Ghana um, last year, all of the kids received new shoes. All of wow. the kids received new shoes, and the 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 owner of the orphanage, she sent a message and she said, they always receive donations, but they've never received anything new. Like that wow. broke my heart to hear her say that they've never received anything new when those shoes cost $1 for a pair wow. of shoes. Right. So we, sometimes wow. people say, you know what, we want to help. We want to make an impact, but they feel like, oh, well, I'm not in a position to make an impact. Yes, you are. Yes, right. we are. When we visited Kenya in December of 2017, all of those children received a Christmas present. A Christmas present. And all of those Christmas presents came from the dollar store. You know, and wow. the toy, they were so grateful with the coloring books and the toys. And they were just so grateful for that gesture of love. And we can all, we can all make an impact. 
in, in, in some kind of way, even if it's not monetary, I'm pretty sure that you have a shirt in your closet that no longer fit, that's still in great condition that you can donate. So right. we can all make an impact. I agree, yeah. Barbara. Every little bit helps. Every it does. Bit. Every little bit helps. And for the ladies, when you go to the store, because every month you go when you purchase your sanitary napkins, just purchase an extra pack. Purchase an right. extra packet, you know, because you know you're going to need it and then donate it. Donate right. it so that the young ladies can have sanitary napkins. Right. So we can all, wow. we can all contribute. Right. Yes, we can, guys. Yes, we can. Okay, no more shoes. <laughs> <laughs> no more. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that now because I love shoes. <laughs> I love shoes. So. <laughs> I do. <laughs> you know, it was so funny. I, I remember my younger days, I was like, you know what, every so often I said, I'm going on a shoe fast. And I was like, Lord, you just gonna have to help me just help myself. <laughs> and a shoe I fast. Wow. Pictures. Yes, I had to take pictures of my shoes and put them on my phone so I can see what shoes I had. And then, oh, no. you know, I went through a season, I had to give it all away. And I was like, Lord, well, can I just, you said that you'll give me double. So can I go back and buy double? <laughs> I don't think that's what he meant. I don't think that's what he meant. <laughs> right. <laughs> but if he trusts you, if he trusts you with your spending, then he will increase. Right. But I, yeah, right. Yeah, we have, we might have to do better in that area. Right. <laughs> you know. So thank God for deliverance. <laughs> But, you know, I thank God for you because you truly have showed us a lot of different ways that we can help. And I made a list of some of them, a lot of them, and I'll post them too because it's amazing that we do think a lot, a lot of times that we need a lot to make a difference. But now that you're breaking it down, I'm like, wow, there is a Dollar Tree. You know, you can literally go to the Lotta Tree and buy something. Wow, there is <laughs> that right. time of month where you can get a lot of stuff and we can, it's just, Wow. And, you know, sometimes people don't things. have the, they would say, well, you know, I want to be able to bless someone. However, I don't have the time to go to the store. Then I have to ship, send $5. I don't right. mind. I go to the Dollar Tree. I, I do I Am Hope every day. I work for I Am Hope every single day um, right. on the weekends. Um, so I don't mind going and getting the supplies. And my garage is an I Am Hope storage. So... <laughs> You know, just drop them off or I'll pick them up, you know, because yeah. it's so essential. Oh, one of the other things that we need, and we sometimes we don't even think about this. We need suitcases. So if you have any luggages that you no longer need, it's beaten up or whatever, just been in your closet stored away, donate it. Because whenever we go on our mission trips, we leave the luggages there. We don't return with them. So just right. donate these items so that we can continuously, um, so that we can always, you know, be able to pack things up and send and distribute them to the kids. Right. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Right. I am I really appreciate. My it. God, I'm so amazing. excited, guys. And I was reading. Damien's comment, he said, I thank God for you, woman of God, and I'm so excited about your mission. I will definitely give into your ministry. So thank Hi, you God. so much for thank even you. Thank you so that much. comment. Bless me that thank you. This is why we're here. You know, I like to sit down with the gifted because truly you're gifted. It takes a real gifted person to do what you're doing to carry all that on your shoulders especially you said you work for i am hope every single day so god bless you so we truly like to come on and just to honor you so you can share that with us so you can help us do better right <laughs> help us elevate you know, sometimes i have to do better as well to be honest because i feel like there's so much more than i can do but it's all about awareness you know now that you know right. now that you know you can do better right <laughs> And trust me, God is going to hold you to it because now you know you're knowledgeable. <laughs> right. See? Right. 
<laughs> so funny. guys, if you have any questions, let's have your questions. And you can always post your questions in the comment. Even if you're catching the playback, we're not live. We'll come back on and answer your question. We'll have a link, a direct link to her page on our website, elevationtvnetwork.com. On our Instagram, YouTube, we are everywhere. And her information will be there so you can find her. Yeah, you can get in yeah. contact with her so you can, you know, work with her ministry directly. She'll be on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Elevation SN. She will be there, her page. So reach out to her and just, you know, help. That's why we're here to help each other grow, to help each other grow, to help yes. each other elevate. Yeah. So, go ahead. Do you have anything else that you want to say to us? You know, anything um, else you want to share? I mm -hmm. was just actually asking Barbara to post information. You know, what we're okay. doing here is um, it definitely takes a village. It definitely takes a village. And we're all in a unique position to make an impact around the world, to make an impact. So oftentimes people just don't know. They don't know what to do, how they can make a difference. But now you know. And I'm so passionate about I Am Hope. I'm always excited and I will always make myself available to discuss I Am Hope because what we're doing around the world is bigger than us. It's bigger than, you know, it's bigger than yeah. you. You know, it's a, it's a we thing. We're making an impact. And, you know, to me, just knowing that we are contributing or we're saving a life or a child is going to go to sleep happy tonight because they're not hungry, yeah. then to me, I feel like we have done our part. So just know that you are in a unique position to help. And we welcome partnering with mm -hmm. People want to donate to the Red Cross, and the Red Cross is great, you know, and um, the United Way, and they're great, but I Am Hope is here, and at least now you know and you see right. where your funds and your contributions are going, and um, none of us who works for I Am Hope receive any payment at all. This is, everything is done from the generosity, you know, of our heart, and because of contributions like you, we're able to make um, an impact. So just thank you guys so much for all that you have been doing for I Am Hope. And we, we look forward to partnering with you, you know, in the future, because we have work to do. We have kingdom right, work we to do. do. <laughs> we do. All about the kingdom, guys. Kingdom building, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, guys, God bless you guys. Thank you guys for watching. We will pray and we will end. And I thank you so much. It was truly an honor to have you on. God bless you. So, guys, we are going to pray and we are going to release her because she's busy and we took in a lot of her time. So, <laughs> at some point, we got to give her back to her family, okay? God is good. God is so good. <laughs> yes. So, guys, let us pray and we will close. Okay. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before your presence tonight. Lord, truly, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for the conviction of the Holy Ghost, Lord God. We thank you for opening up our eyes and our ears so we can hear and see what it is that needs to be done. Lord, we thank you for this woman of God that just truly poured into us. And Lord, I ask you that everything that she poured into us, that you'll restore it back to her, Lord God, that you'll give her double for her trouble, that you'll open new doors, that you'll make new ways for her. Lord God and her team that as they travel that you'll cover them under your blood by the blood of Jesus Christ that you'll go before them and cut and clear the way Lord make the way clear that even when they get there that the provision is already made for them Lord you are God and God all by yourself and that for that we tell you thank you now and forevermore in Jesus name amen 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 thank amen. you thank you so much woman of God amen. thank you Thank you. No problem. God Thank bless you. you. Thank you. I look it was forward an to honor. connect. I look forward to working with yes, you. Yes, I future. will. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll hold you to Guys, that. I'm so we'll have touch all me. the conversation with her by myself. Okay. <laughs> I love y'all, but. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll definitely connect soon. God bless you guys. So guys, thank you for watching. Remember, when life hit us, we don't quit. We elevate. So see you guys tomorrow. We actually are on two nights a week now. So we'll be on tomorrow at 7 p.m. So God bless you guys. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.